Hey guys, we'll give you a little bit of preview about what we're doing on this next roll, which is number 131. This little sequence is included on. I mean, this isn't the actual footage of it. Uh, this is more of an idea. Uh, we're going to blow through uh, on this particular roll. It's about the single underhook position, blowing off of the uh, collar and elbow position right in the single underhook. If you read the toss, you're going to see where I'm going to tell you this is probably a far more valuable hookup for you than straight into that collar and elbow. And I'm not going to give you any details on this particular clip because, you know, See all the details of being on that particular roll DVD. More than what we're trying to show you here is the idea of how I want you to chain the material together. Uh, I'm going to give you just one portion of a chain that you're going to find in this material. Uh, we're talking about moving from the collar and elbow to a single under uh, single underhook grip, and then directly into defending the legs with the skull block. I mean, if someone tries to hit you with a, goal, uh, a, a leg dive and you have a single underhook, because sometimes you're thinking, "Hey, my legs are going to be vulnerable." But not if you get the skull block uh, skull uh, block in play. And then how to retie if someone comes back to center for you, trying to force yourself into a pummeling war. We'll stop that up with your retie. We're going to snap that right back into your single underhook. We're going to do an angled head, head snap to a standing bar and chancery, which isn't a finish. Move that awesome to a, uh, a bar and chancery drop right into tap number one, which is flat crank. Tap number two, which is uh, sit out crank. Now, this isn't all the material that's on there. This will be the first uh, quarter of it. Then we run into different areas to capture off the head. Uh, pretty fearsome stuff with the, with the head and chancery, some combat leg cradles, some spine snap stuff. And we'll also move into some sneaky ways to set up uh, uh, from this. Uh, uh, single underhook and to do some dog leashing into your uh, double wrist lock. But mainly we want to talk about, on the, on the DVD we'll show you how to get to each position. Each one will be done with an individual step showing all the tiny little details in play. So you're not looking for the details here, we're just talking about the idea, the manner and how I want you to put it together. And in this case, I'm not even doing it. I'm having my wife who's doing this, so she's under my weight class and I, I as the coach, I'm just calling out what I'm looking for each time. Same thing, think of this as pad work, like if you're calling out one, two, two, three, uh, uh, one, one, and you're, you're try, uh, trying to get feet specific punch here. I'm feeding specific aspects of the chain, so she's just responding off of my call. And that's initially what you're going to be doing with your fighters. You're going to be doing everything on one per one basis, learning each technique. After that, and after that, have your fighters be able to understand exactly what you're calling from the corner and good to go. So with that said, let's give it a shot. Get your mouthpiece in. I've left mine out because I'm yakking here. We're going to start with our modified collar and elbow. And off the collar and elbow, like I said, we're going to move off into the, her single underhook from the single underhook. I'll dive the legs. This is all minorly. She's going to skull block it. I'll try and go back in and reset for a center for pummeling. She'll rehead me on the tie-up. Then an angle head snap. Bar and chancery. Bar and chancery drop. Tap number one, flat crank. Tap number two, set out crank. You good for that? I'll call it along the way. So there you go. Set that single underhook. Boom. Move off the side. Dive the legs. Defend the legs. Reset. Reset. Good. Now snap off the uh, single underhook. Bar and chancery. Boom. Back step drop. Ah, tap one. Step two. Good. You're out. Way to go, champ. Yeah, particularly on this second one, I think. That's some payback for some stuff for this past weekend. Again, the idea here, not a lot of details yet, because you're going to go, what are we doing on that skull block? What are we doing about re resetting? We're talking about running a vertical line for bone blocking to make sure that someone can't run in uh, with his underhooks. We'll cover all that in detail. Talk about if you're not ear to ear before we set the single under underhooks, you're, you're woefully misguided. The single underhook, a lot of people look at the hand and think that's the key, that's where the pressure point is. It's not. We'll hit all those details on this a piece of material, but ultimately what I want you to be able to do is have yourself and or your fighters respond to every single piece and link of the chain and see how they flow together and not think of uh, each raw as individual uh, move that you want to sit through and cherry pick and go, oh I like that, I'll do that, and do that. I want you to think of this combination man curriculum that we're doing is entire drill links that will be all tied together so you're just flowing constant, constant flow, constant flow, you know where you're going, uh, going this whole year-long worth of material of uh, chaining. All right, long-winded, but hopefully get the idea of how we want you to work this thing. If you got, uh, take a look at the, the complete breakdown of, uh, on the sales pitch with the printed material. If you've got any questions about it, I want you to pick up this raw volume, just let us know.